message of Jesus Christ always has been and always will be offensive. Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of the Daily Devo, which is made possible through the generosity of listeners just like you. You can come over to my website, pastorpete.org, to find these daily devos, to sign up for our daily email, and many other resources there for you as well. Today I've been reflecting in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, particularly here at the beginning of the chapter, where John the Baptist is having some doubts about who Jesus is. He sends his disciples, John is in prison, but he sends his disciples out to ask Jesus, are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else? Are you the Messiah or should we be looking for somebody else? And Jesus gives him this response. And we always pay a lot of attention to the early part of this response. But I want you to hear the end. Here's what he says in verse 4. Jesus replied to them, Go and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, those with leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor are told the good news. Now listen to verse 6. And blessed is the one who isn't offended by me. We always like to focus on the first part, primarily right there, verse 5, where it talks about the blind receiving their sight, lame men and women walking, those with leprosy being cleansed and healed, the deaf hearing, the dead being raised, the poor being told the good news. All these miraculous things of Jesus' ministry make for great sermons, and they make for great reading, and they they make for uh, an incredible rejuvenation of our spirit when we read about them. But sometimes we forget right here in verse 6 where Jesus says, And blessed is the one who isn't offended by me. You know, there were many people in Christ's day who were offended by his ministry. They were offended by his miracles. They were offended by his presence. They were offended by his teaching. So it should come as no surprise to you and I today that there are still many who are offended and take offense at the good news of the gospel. It's strange to us. It makes no sense to us, but it is a reality we face. There are people you work with, people you live with, people that are on your street or in your neighborhood who, quite frankly, are offended by your bumper sticker. They are offended by the message of the gospel. They are offended by your generosity of love and forgiveness and all that you stand for because you stand for Christ as his hands and feet. It should come as no surprise to you or to me that people will find us and the message of the cross that we bear offensive. They found Jesus offensive, and they will find you offensive too if you are living for Him. It doesn't mean we go out and we seek to be offensive, but it means we operate and we live in a reality of things that we know to be true, and that is not everybody's going to accept what we have to say. Not everybody accepted Jesus, and not everybody will accept you, but you continue to be His hands and feet, be His church, be His weapon in this world. May God bless you. Come over and visit me at pastorpete.org. We'll see you again tomorrow.